5G is going to be really important for the UK uh, in two ways. From a, a sort of citizen perspective, it's going to be the technology that really allows our digital economy to move to the next stage. In this world of ultra-connectedness, it's going to be delivering enhanced mobile broadband, which basically will allow people to do the things they want to do, wherever they want to do them, uh, whenever they want to do them. For business, it's going to be super important because it's got a whole bunch of new features. Ultra-reliability, low latency, and really that's the sort of most exciting thing if you take a 15 to 20 year perspective because that's going to allow the whole industry to evolve and give us a whole new bunch of services that we, we frankly haven't decided yet. 5G is not just about high speed, it's also about coverage and low latency. And that's going to affect and transform lots of businesses in terms of automation, uh, medical health and you know, automotive. So with that capability enhanced by the 5G, then we are going to be able to deliver a better future for the citizens in across UK. The way that we see 5G is that it will transform our economic activities in the same way that our social life was digitized in the previous generation of mobile technology. There's a lot of issues. I mean, there's technological issues, there's political issues, there's economic issues, all of which have got to be grappled with. I think technologically is the easiest one, getting it out there into every street in the country because that's where it needs to be, that's a big challenge. Well, for 5G, any, any new technology is usually more expensive than the previous one. So I think the huge excitement around 5G is very understandable. At the same time, we need to control expectations about when it can be commercially deployed. And therefore, we're looking very hard at ways we can, we can start with the early use cases of 5G, which actually balance the excitement of 5G and what it can give with the actual revenues it can provide to provide an early entrance into 5G. And that's more from the industrial sectors that we feel that's coming rather than the consumer. What excites me most about the opportunities for UK businesses in 5G, I think is the innovation capability. So again, around low latency, people come up with apps certainly I haven't thought of. There'll be loads of really interesting uh, new ideas that can be played with and I think actually it's going to provide us potentially, especially with the work that uh, UK 5G and DCMS are doing on the labs and trial funding, with a playground and some sandbox environments where if we do things right we can really encourage innovation from very small companies and startups to see what they can actually do using that connectivity. I'm probably most excited about the opportunities that 5G will afford principally in terms of what it can do for our fantastically vibrant SME sector. We're doing a lot of work at the University of Surrey 5G Innovation Centre in trying to help SMEs adopt this early, to be internationally competitive and to really offer us services that at this stage nobody's thinking of. When I talk to our clients and broadcast media, they're already excited about 5G and they're already thinking about how they can use that for their business, whether it be the application of live events, whether it be the application of virtual reality environments, or whether it's the application of streaming media in a far more powerful context than it is now. UK 5G obviously is focused on the UK side, but 5G is going to be an international business. Without the volumes, then the prices will never come down to the stage to which businesses in the UK will be able to take advantage. The way that the DCMS is putting together test beds and trials in this country is quite unique and is looking for collaboration across vertical industries, technology providers, cities, academia, etc. A lot of overseas companies and big providers want to have a part of that and UK 5G will help in that. I think international expansion is part of the cellular industry and has been for a very long time. The standards are, are international, the 4G standards and now the 5G standards are truly global and it's really important that we partner with experts and academics and companies across the world, not just in Europe, but also thinking about North America and a lot of the innovation is coming out of, out of Asia at the moment, and so some of the ties with Asia will probably be really important for us. UK 5G is unique in that it's very keen to work globally 
not just within the UK. And uh, we're really interested in not just bringing in uh, investment from around the world, but also we're really keen to develop the UK as a potential test bed and research and development place for big organisations that really want to understand the benefits of 5G. The UK is a wonderful place to come and experiment with that, especially considering consumers are really up for it. So we hope that the UK is going to be the, the best place in the world to experiment with 5G technology.